Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Moy Garcia and I'm going to do a quick review of these two Bibles. They're actually the same Bible in two different editions. Our friends from Sondervant sent me these uh, editions for review. And uh, as you can see here, this is the New International Version Verse Mapping Bible. And uh, it came in this uh, slipcase. And uh, let's see what this is all about. This is the New International Version Verse Mapping Bible. And the author and Bible teacher Christy Cameron, I hope I didn't pronounce that uh, incorrectly, shows you how to compare Bible translations. That is great. Pick out meaningful words and delve into the deeper meaning of each verse using starter verse maps and prompts. It comes with a five-step kind of uh, uh, mapping and also with the load features uh, uh, that we're going to look into it now. But one of the things that I really like is this. It includes access to a custom-built reverse interlinear feature on BibleGateway.com to research the Greek and Hebrew translations for the 350 prompted verse maps. That is class. It also comes with exclusive Sonderburn NIV comfort print typeface, 8 point, uh, 8 point print size. So let's dig into it, shall we? Well, we got here two different editions of the same Bible. Here on the left, we got uh, what they have called the Bible for Girls. And this is a, a regular edition, and this is more a kind of a girly design, if you if you if you will. And this one has more kind of classic look. This is a cloth overboard, and uh, both have the same features. The only thing that changes is actually the design. And uh, I'm going to show you that the table of contents here. And the table of contents here are exactly the same so in that regard you're not gonna lose anything it's just more kind of uh, different in the in the looks of it basically um, another difference is gonna be for example here and uh, the um, the design of some of the logos of the numbers is going to be different uh, even the color this is more kind of a pastel kind of color this is a darker uh, color uh, but other than that everything else is going to be the same so uh, I'm going to review I want to focus on one of them Just understanding that the only difference is going to be basically the, the design between them two okay so here we have our verse mapping uh, Bible and one of the things that I like is that this is a new international version but it's gonna compare verses with the New King James and the New American Standard and it's gonna give you loads of uh, different uh, uh, let's say uh, tools to work with the translation yourself let's take a look this is a car this is a hardback uh, uh, cover it's not a premium cover, but it's actually a nice cover. Uh, it's, it feels good, it feels nice in your hand. It's cloth, and the, and the spine, as you can see, is very classy as well, with this gold stamping on the spine. New, new international version by Zondervan. I really like it. And here it tells us that this is cloth overboard with the ISBN there. I will put in a link to these Bibles on the description box for your uh, own benefit. And uh, as we open this up, we're going to find that this is uh, our presentation page. My verse mapping journey began on. And we got a text here of Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Like that. And this is the introduction to our verse mapping Bible. Okay, so what we got here is basically all the information about the translation. This is the 2000 and uh, let's see, 2011 uh, version of the new international version. 
and also we're gonna see that we there's gonna be scripture taken from the New King James 1982 okay and the New American Standard Bible 1995 okay this is from Thomas Nelson and this is from Lockman Foundations now this uh, Bible is was printed in South Korea which is different to what we normally find in this uh, type of Bibles and here we're gonna see the table of contents alphabetical order of the books of the Bible letter from the editor how to verse map and the preface we're gonna focus on this part on how to verse map because I think everything else is just a regular uh, uh, Bible content yeah you may find in any other Bible so let's get into it so how to verse map we're gonna have a five step to follow okay and to get started okay we're gonna be given some advice it's gonna tell you that uh, you're gonna be given 350 careful selected maps throughout this Bible but also another 70 blank verse mapping pages for you to go through and, and, and do your own uh, study markers and pens while specific colors aren't required to verse map, making it personal to your preferences and style will keep your study habits strong. And this is something that I really like and really enjoy. In my case, I have this, my personal color code, but uh, uh, this is something that you can do, you can make up yourself, and uh, it helps me to study my own uh, way. Then we got also Bible app, I like concordance. You got, uh, you got the new international version in these pages, but for using multiple translations and for research in the context of words in Hebrew or Greek, you'll need an additional resource. We recommend and reverse interlinear to find this all in one place. A good resource is BibleGateway.com. Find the recommended verse in the NIV using Bible Gateway search tool at the top of the page. Then select reverse interlinear under the page options the menu a little gear icon above the scripture clicking each word will open details about it to the right that is great they're telling you how to use an online uh, study uh, tool alongside your uh, printed copy of the bible time blocking intentional time to spend with god is up to you whether you have five minutes today or an hour tomorrow dedicate what time you can as often as you can and your desire for that time will grow okay well that is excellent recommendations I can subscribe to all of that I agree with them and then we're gonna have these study steps number one verse in this Bible you're gonna see verses given to you okay number two in those verses you're gonna have also two different translations to compare number three develop you're going to see identify the original uh, uh, words that may be different or actually uh, common to uh, these different translations actions what's happening on stage in your verses versus off stage before or after your verse basically context what would it look like feel like smell taste or sound like to have experienced what's happening so basically it's asking you to get yourself into uh, the situation so that you can comprehend and you can understand better what we're reading and outcome write one to two sentence summary of what you've learned and how you can apply it to your life that is uh, uh, the purpose of this what is the holy spirit teaching you wow that is so cool i really like it already so let's get into it we got here an example of genesis we got the author we got the date uh, written and where this book takes place okay uh basically location i like uh, the, the the design is fresh and cool it, it works in two different uh, colors a uh, dark green okay and black and then we got even these boxes with a lighter green I like it it's nice in the eye and then this also a uh, modern font mixed with a more kind of classic even though it's still modern but a more kind of classic type of font these are the themes of each book with highlights and a short introduction to each book of the Bible uh, the layout as you can see here is a double column 
in a paragraph format and it comes with the translator's notes on the bottom of the page. It doesn't have uh, cross-referencing, but this is not the purpose. That's what you need to do yourself uh, for study. And it comes with two wide margins with fainted lines to write your own notes right there. The book, chapter and title of each uh, paragraph or chapter is in a dark, comes in a dark green, which I really like to enhance the, the reading experience. And then here we have an example of what we were looking at earlier on. There's a one, two, three, four, five steps. We got the verse, in this case they picked up Genesis 3, 6. Then in number two, we're gonna be given the same verse in two different translations. In this case, it's the New King James and the New American Standard. Now you will notice that some words have been underlined in each of those uh, uh, translations, but also you may find sometimes that some words are different. So in develop, we're going to find what those words mean in the original language. So in this case, we've got uh, pleasing, pleasant or delight, which is how these three translations have decided to uh, translate that word. So here we're going to find each word with its own uh, Hebrew or in the New Testament Greek uh, meaning and definition and then from there we're gonna go to actions what actions develop the story in this verse what is happening in this verse and to whom so we can have also uh, an understanding of the context uh, and then we're gonna go into number five what is God saying to me today how do I apply all of this to my life I think that is excellent this is a very good idea and uh, I'll be very happy to have this same uh, idea done in different translations I do understand they're giving you the New King James and ASB to, con to compare already right here but I would like to have the main text also changed uh, into one of those uh, major uh, translations for all our users now uh, the whole Bible is going to be like this. Now, there's going to be places, right, like this, where you're going to have uh, all this already given to you that you can study from, from that and you can work on that. But then you're going to have these blank pages where you are going to pick the verse and then you're going to do your digging. You're going to find these different translations using online uh, tools uh, or uh, printed Bibles that you have at home where you can look up all these verses and, and compare and then go and, and try to get those words that you're going to find their keywords uh, or there may be differences and check uh, also online or using a concordance or an interlinear if you have one at home uh, then we're going to have the actions again and the outcome which again you're going to have to work yourself uh, and write yourself. So we're gonna see that this is the case for all the books. We're gonna have the, the, the title, author, date, location, themes, and introduction. Very straightforward, and I think it's a great tool. Now, I, can't, I have to say, this is a, a nice size. This is eight and a quarter inches tall. Then it's about six and three quarters wide. And if I measure the spine, it's gonna be like a one and three quarters, one inch and three quarters thick. That's just to give you an idea. So it's not huge, it's a bit thick, but it's not huge. And it's actually quite portable, as you can see in my hand. And if we go back, and if we go to the end of this Bible, we're gonna see that after, let me see, Revelation, we're gonna find table of weights and measures, topical index, and then we're gonna have a couple of uh, ruled pages for notes.
and a note regarding the type of this edition. And that's it. That's my review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this is an excellent Bible for personal development and study. And uh, you have this in different editions. I will put a link on the description box and uh, for all different purposes. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions or any comments, please drop us a line down in the comment section. And uh, I see you soon in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom. Oh, yeah.